happens here. These guys haven't played yet in this top eight bracket. The celebration of Mortal Kombat X and it's grand finals time. Killers it up from Brazil on the winner's side. Make some noise, guys. Echo this Fox is grand Sky finals of Mortal Kombat. Kombat. The overhead coming through, blocked. A lot safer than it used to be. I think oh my goodness, what a flash parry through the grenade too here from Killer. It's the matchup knowledge. It is going to be straight up matchup knowledge. Both these guys without stamina, they're playing an actual fighting game right now. Here we go. Oh, instant jump through the grenade and a clean jump in punch. And Oki's going to get the knockdown. Oh, instantly answer back with the wake up. Neither player wants to deal with the uh, wake up options. And Scar bravely tried to go for a reload, taking it guaranteed. But I think oh they might have been Stay in this corner, and that is where you are going to be. Killer Zenok drawing first blood here, taking the first round and making some of the best reads of the tournament in this situation. Ridiculous. Uh, you're speaking of good reads. How about a point blank grenade detonation? Because he knows that Zenok's going to run in. The danger is he's flexed. He's got the armor good to go. And here comes a knockdown. I'm going to flex up. Just wants to keep the pressure on. He doesn't want to start. Oh, didn't block low. Obviously, you can go for an overhead splat there. And they're going for more pressure. Overhead this time. Blocked by Scar. Risky, to be honest. And more armor challenges. Oh, the down one. Where are you going, mate? Get back. How rare is it to see multiple uh, uh, interactables on the stage get bodied? How hard is it to actually beat out those dive kicks? Oh, he's he's just, done it twice he in a row. the wake up, so he's still point blank. Scar. We get knocked down. Grenade reload. Everything counts on this. This oh! again! But he gets caught by the low ground power. That was on the third hit, too. He was a couple of frames away from holding that brutality. Flash parry to try and go through the dive kick. Didn't actually absorb anything, but the forward one's going to catch the airborne dive kick regardless. And the down two trade. He'll happily take that trade just to reset the neutral situation. Oh! Sucker punch. Oh. That back two covers so much ground in approaches. I mean, aerial and ground since it is a mid. Forcing the break Ooh. from Scar, another point-blank grenade. The advancing strings, you gotta watch out against someone like Demolition, who's gonna go for the close detonation every time. Jumping out of the rolling cutter, a hard read, but good data for Zinok. All right, loads up the grenades, we're coming at some pressure. Nice down one, he goes the press frames to get some pressure himself. These guys are swinging right now here, half screen. And that's what's ama amazing me right now, is that these two are playing at the same speed. They are. Absolutely, that's one thing Tremor forces you to do, it's play this game at a thousand miles an hour. Clean jump in. It's gonna get blocked, but he's gonna enforce the low mix-up anyway. Actually opting to go for a reload, confident he doesn't need it. Oh! <laughs> How about that? Scar finally getting something here. Killer's next starting off so strong. Let's see if Scar can make the adjustments, the tournament veteran here. I mean, this for those un online that might be uninitiated, being on the loser side means you got to win two sets of three out of five. Jinok just needs to win one. First of all, Scar needs to put Jinok in the loser's bracket. So you got to beat him twice. Easier said than done when he's looked this dominant the whole time. Keeping a hold of that armor. Somehow blocking the whole thing. Oh, and he oh. ate up the dive kick! Crystalline Tremor! Such a dangerous character! Flexes up again, we're coming in. Oh, even through the rock! Which is plus range in and of itself. And if he uses the uh, meter burn armor when he absorbs a hit, he takes no damage. And he crossed up down oh. to Scar, lives to fight another day. It's one game apiece in the grand finals. Can Scar make this comeback? Can he reset the bracket? And dare I say, do it for America! I mean, I know that's what you want, but to be honest with you, I'd quite like Chuck to finally get his big win. He's been working hard. Ooh. Oh, excellent wake up. Oh, he's got to fear that bad boy as long as there are two grenades on Sonya. Yeah, jumping back, getting rid of the armor, but he's going to eat the full jump in anyway. That low option. A late break, but because I think he's actually trying to deny the reload more than he's trying to deny the damage. Oh, man. Nice cancel into the block, too. He's really been testing Scar with whether he's going to let it down one rip or anything right there. And now this is party time for Crystalline because he can absorb everything and anything as long as it hits once. The roar overhead, and he just, oh my god, he's it, so content. It allows him to take those risks, right? Oh my god! Oh, he gets oh my goodness! OTG. OTG properties on that meter burn ground pound. You're never free of damage as long as he's got a bar of meter. Alright, this is good for Scar though. Being a nice corner push here. Has two grenades loaded still. Oh okay, so even though Scar's gonna knock down, he has to be wary of those two, two grenades that are on his belt. But if he absorbs the grenade reload, I'm pretty sure Chrysalin can power through. And that's why the armored option is going to be the arc kick instead. Because it hits multiple times! There's the cross-up jumping punch! And Jinnok back in control. Here's the hard to blockable. Excellent block. Overhead and low, Ooh. but another block the low! This might be it! And just like that, Killer Zinnok is one point away. Championship point for this man.
one game away from being the grand champion of MKX. But if there's one player that's going to be in this situation many times, it's going to be Scar. And here we go, back to player select. This might be where we see the switch to smoke. I mean, back is to the wall right now. Oh, he goes straight back. Oh, maybe a stage change. To to maybe a stage change. Yeah, dead woods. We're going to be switching up. Remember, the pit is one of those stages that has a corner escape on both sides. It's a symmetrical map. And and it was working for Killer, but it wasn't working for Scar, unfortunately. Every time he attempted it, uh, Killer was able to shut it down both times. And that's uh, why I think he's trying to take it away. I think he'd rather Zinok not have a corner escape than him have a corner escape. Correct. And he's tried a couple times to start with Flash Fairy. I don't, I don't think that round one Flash Fairy's worked uh, just yet for Zinok, but it keeps the threat there. Uh, for Scar to simply hold some pressure and start the match, and he, we're already off to a good start here for Killer Zenok. Oh, oh my God! I think he tried to do something about that, but he got hit anyway. L last time he did get a punish on it. Yeah, I mean, why not? Why? Why wouldn't he just run in full speed if he's got the armor? Good to go. But Scar catches him again, knocked down, goes in for that meaty overhead. But the delay wake up from Zenok, surviving slightly, but the jump back connects, and that break is forced out of Zenok. Oh my word! Almost picked up two. And with this grenade, Scar going to be close to getting the round. Beautiful wake up there. There were negative frames on that call. Oh. oh, scouts out the wake up. And he absorbs, but it's multiple hitting. He takes damage. Still alive, though. Do not, don't count him out. Do not count this guy out. Goes in for the flex. Oh. oh. I respect the down four because if Scar pressed buttons trying to get that last bit of damage, the down four would have been so plus that Zinok got a guaranteed mix up. Yeah, four and one, and at that point, it was pure mix. Scar looking good here, though. And, and he's, he's really changed up his place. He's so aggressive right now, and I like it. Yep. I agree with the decision. Oh! That is an answer for rolling cutter and a half. Smart plays from Scar. Instant dive kick to make it whiff. Come on! Beautiful stuff there, and that may be what Scar attempted earlier, just made an execution error, but that was a beautiful decision, and Scar gonna tie us up at 2-2! Oh, I am so excited for what we're seeing right now. Two games apiece, this is gonna be tournament game for Zinok and reset game. What does the crowd Scar. think? Do you guys want this thing reset? Or do you guys want to see Killer Zinok take it right now? Oh, they want the reset! Uh, Alright, yeah, I heard significantly more noise for the reset, but I'm not surprised, we're in America. Of course, it's standard. We they also, want their boy, we they also, want their boy to win. They we want also to win. want to see more Mortal Kombat. I mean, I want to see more Mortal Kombat. I don't know about you. Here we go. Same matchup, different stage. Didn't say chamber. Very unique corner escape. So it's not really an escape as much as it is a corner armored defensive option. Correct. And an escape on the right hand side. This is a re this is a reset point for Scar and championship point again for Killer Zinok. Here we go, guys. Starting off with the unblockable, changing things up entirely as Killer Zinok throwing something differently at Scar when it matters most, when it could be the championship. Absolutely. Gotta watch out. I think Scar is gonna have to watch out for that dive kick the forward one so fast, so advancing. It's an excellent tool. Banks it on the overhead because he had the armor, but still answered back. Right, here comes the reload. Oh, it's a good start for Scar. He's got a couple of great punishes on the armor itself. He's throwing, he's throwing a lot of 1-1s, one the really quick, fast hitting from normals. Oh, caught again. Grenade conversion. We're going to see another reload, and now one great oh. connect. That should be it, but what a catch. And there's the flex. Even though she was still low to the ground, that is a true mid right there with that back two. Oh my god, that's still connected? Are and, you serious? And the EX leg press going to do the damage. That Scar was, uh, one game away from the reset. <laughs> yeah, but he's not going to be happy about that. Zinok doesn't want him to get to that point. He wants to have this grand finals and he wants it in the bud right now. Oh, caught by the overhead though, forcing the break. And his back is still to the wall with Scar. Plenty of resources to work with. Interruption. Oh. All right, here we go. This is Crystalline's playground. Oh, the escape. Excellent decision. And he's forced to take it. Make sure good grenade. Call it dead. Raw Savage down two by Scar. And here we go on the offensive. So close to the reset. Another knockdown. He's going to put out the meaty grenade. Gets left blocks by Killer Zen. I could use the corner escape himself into some plus frames. Oh, bets the farm on the armor. Still alive temporarily. And he catches a jumping punch. Scar, no breaker. Here comes the flex. He meter burns it to absorb more. And there is the whip punish. Killer Zenok is going to be not quite on point because he missed it. Oh, oh my, my goodness! God. Surviving by a threat with Killer Zenok right there, and a final round to decide whether the tournament ends now or later. I mean, we're one round away from finding out. I can't watch. Oh, Try to punish yet, yeah, but late, a little bit late. Scar 
waiting out that armor, waiting for his turn right now. Looking for the plus frames on the down four. Didn't get it. And Zenox relentless right now. The conversion. Just going in for the simple stuff. Let's not overcomplicate. Rolling cutter to enforce a load. Oh! Eating up the interactable. Going from plus to punishable. There's the breaker. Went for the same whip punish he had on the dive kick earlier with the back two. Didn't get it this time around. Has so much meter right now. Get flash parry all he wants to. Went for it right there. Of course, he didn't get the flex. Gonna absorb the grenade. Pulls up another one, because why not? Oh my word. The second he gets the plus frames, there comes the rolling cutter. He's got more to work with. Doesn't cancel it. Gets the down one, which is gonna be plus. Oh, oh he's the gonna rolling do cutter. It. That's gonna be the tournament, and Killer Dinok is gonna be the combo breaker 2018. Grand champion for Mortal Kombat X. Congratulations to this man coming through the bracket on the winner's side. Back to the wall right there as Star looked to get a little bit of momentum and close it out with some amazing reads, amazing gameplay. Nothing but a round of applause for this man. That is why Christian Tremor is the pick of the tournament and Zinok finally gets his major win in Mortal Kombat XL. Super proud of this guy and the journey he's had has been incredible. Sensational play from start to end and like I said before even top 8 started the way that I saw him get into top 8 I was like this is a guy to look out for the way that he smothered people the way that he smothered players who just Played the game for so long especially in North America because we have so many tournaments back to back for him to just Absolutely blow them away. I was like wait just a minute